I was just in the process, Marina, of telling them about uh, how you managed to run into a bull on a Cadillac with that thing. <laughs> People of you who had uh, heart attacks while Marina was driving me through the crowd there. It's madness when you get with those Greeks, I'll tell you. Boy. I'll have to calm down for tonight. Let's see. We're going to feature Bobby Gilstrap, ladies and gentlemen, a great guitarist. This is a thing you're going to love. It's called the Orange Blossom Special. as we can because we're all out here for fun and heard the sheriff speaking and all those wonderful folks and we've uh, enjoyed every minute of it so we're just going to think of something to do for you right now if you have a request call it out if you don't we'll just do something <laughs> Sometimes they have to because of the leaders of the band. One of the things that really makes the job go for me 
is to, and it becomes not a job, it becomes a pleasure to have a drummer like Alan Isaacson. So we're going to feature him on a thing called Caravan. Oh, wait a minute. Do you remember that song, do you not? Yeah. Listen to this, ladies and gentlemen.
to anything. <laughs> that's why he said, why don't you play under the double eagle? I was kind of worried that maybe he didn't know what I just played, and I thought that spoke a lot for my guitar playing. <laughs> you, Bill. I know what you play. <laughs> <laughs> you did. He was a great entertainer, ladies and gentlemen. Not only a great entertainer, he's a great actor. But he is an incredible entertainer. We're going to get him up to do a couple things for you. He does some wonderful Burl Live thing. We'll just absolutely thrill it to the bone. So, uh, let's see. While we're thinking about that, I'll ask you a little question here. And I, I don't want you to answer, Bill. <laughs> I want you to be quiet over there. <laughs> What if you had uh, 50,000 pigs and 50,000 deer, what would you have? 100,000 bucks. I have thousands of those. I'll not tell you anymore, though. You had one. The mic. Hi, Mike. Tasting. Tasting. That tastes pretty good. Shall I? I'll just pull it out of here. Isn't that fun? I've never done this before. <laughs> well, a little bit of tear let me down. Spoil my act as a clown. I had it made up not to make a frown. But a little bit of tear let me down. You said you were leaving tomorrow, that today was our last day. I said there'd be no sorrow, that I'd laugh when you walked away. But a little bit of tear let me down, spoil my act as a clown. I had it made up not to make a frown, but a little bit of tear let me down. When you left me, full of funny as you walked out the door, that I'd have another one waiting, and I'd wave goodbye when you go. But a little bit of tear let me down, spoil my act as a clown. I had it made up not to make a frown, oh, a little bit of tear let me down. Well, everything went like I planned it. I really put on quite a show. In my heart, I felt I could stand it till you walked with your grip through the door. Then a little bit of tear let me down. Spoil my act as a clown. I had it made up not to make a frown. Oh, a little bit of tear let me down. Five, six, fifties in there. You remember a guy came from Waco, Texas. He was a great disc, disc jockey. He went to Shreveport, Louisiana because they hired him for the hayride. And he was only there a week because the Grand Ole Opry stole him. And an old fellow that you know, used to know named Grant Turner, went and stole him from Shreveport, Louisiana hayride. Brought him to the Grand Ole Opry and he said, 
Now, ladies and gentlemen of the Grand Ole Opry, we have a man here. We brought up from Shreveport, but he's really from Waco, Texas. And I'm going to give him a name tonight, because I know you're going to like him. His name is Gentleman Jim Reeves. <laughs> Thank you. 